My name is Dr. Ingrid Heitch. I have a ridiculous moniker called Dr. Ingrid just because I was on YouTube and we didn't want to put my last name up there, but please call me Ingrid. Um, I'm a professor at North Idaho College. I actually just returned to teaching last year. I teach pre-med courses. Um, I was retired medically in 2014 uh, due to a T-cell lymphoma diagnosis. Um, I was an NIH-funded researcher, so when I was diagnosed with lymphoma, I thought, oh, these are my people. Of course they know what to do. Allopathic medicine is for me. So I went headfirst into chemotherapy like most people do when they get into that your fight or flight thinking because you're going to fight and beat that cancer, right? So that's where I was. Three months into it, it obviously wasn't working. I was dying. I was on my deathbed. It took a few years to recover from that. Long story short, I tried all the holistic medicine, well not all, but as much as I could find and try, and I could get the lesions for the T-cell lymphoma to stop spreading, but I could not seem to get the symptoms that I dealt with every day, that on the outside I looked healthy, no one would know, but on the inside, you know, I'm on disability, I'm in bed five to seven hours a day, night sweats, drenching, all kinds of things that I'll just spare you details. And so four or five o'clock at night, oh, we got to go home. Mom's looking tired. Go lay down. And I have four kids and all of that. So it was a burden on me and on my family. Um, so with that, from that standpoint, you have eyes to see and ears to hear. And so I found a biomagnetic polarity. Um, this is a protocol that was just recently translated into English. Let's see if I can switch hands here. Um, it's been, uh, now it's being taught in the medical school curriculum in Spain and in other places. So I'm going to just try and go through this. My slides are animated, so they kind of keep me on a time clock so I can be less than five minutes. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'm here in the Spokane area, and I'd like to just first jump into some of how this works. We know from our MRI functional data studies, where they send stimuli at you with, while you're being scanned, that if you have negative stimuli, bad thoughts, I'm a cancer magnet, I'm never going to get over it, well, you're never going to recover. You certainly will be. And I discovered that. I had three more cancer diagnoses after the first one. Here we see that we too emit an electromagnetic field. So when I was listening to the conversations on Thursday, these fascinating talks about the system being a closed system and we're talking about ether and energy, my perspective from my perception is you're designing a system within a system. So we got to think about the whole system that we're looking at. Okay, so back to my schematics here. We know from the equator right here, up in latitude or down in latitude, the farther away from the equator, the longer time our biomagnetic pairs need to be on your body in order to have an effect. We have a black and a red, which are just colors so you know which poles to put on your body. And I know you're going to hopefully have questions if I'm doing a good job, then ask me at the booth afterwards. All right, so what we have are our red and our black color-coded uh, biomagnet pairs that we would put on your body in a pair formation. And we have over a thousand pairs that have been annotated over the last 30 years meticulously in Spanish, which correlate to certain conditions that certain individuals might experience. This was first discovered by Dr. Richard Bromingmeyer, who was a NASA medical doctor, and he saw that there was a difference in the leg length between uh, the, for the astronauts when they came back to experiencing the magnetosphere, and he thought maybe that's why. So if you've ever heard of having a magnet in your shoe or in a back brace, it came from Dr. Richard Bromingmeyer. All right, so let's jump to Kirlian photography. If you want to visualize that energetic field, that magnetic field, this is one of those ways that you can do that. We are energetic beings, so the food we put into us needs to be of high frequency energy value as well. If I drink, if I do bad, put bad things into my system, I won't be as good of a facilitator for biomagnetic therapy for folks. We also find that magnetized water has many benefits. I can go through this in detail with you at my booth after this little brief moment of intro to it. But we find that when you fertilize uh, water or your, your chicken feed and you have it magnetized or the water that you're using for your garden and it's magnetized, we can see results like this as opposed to a very expensive reverse osmosis protocol right here, right? So what I do is I walk around with a magnet taped underneath my water bottle throughout the day. It's a poor man's uh, attempt to have the magnetized water but without having to pay for all the money to do that. So moving on here, we can see here lettuce that's been grown with magnetized water. Also, you can see if you have chickens, their feed had men magnetized. You'll see that they lay bigger eggs as well. 
So that's pretty neat uh, visualization to see that. Same thing for us humans. If we were to go ahead and have magnetized water that we're drinking, we're gonna see an improved pituitary function. Hair grows stronger, kids grow taller. Looking at the way that a cell looks, a diseased cell, we're gonna see an imbalance here in the uh, pH. It's either too acidic or it's gonna be too basic. And that's what a microbe, a pathogenic microbe, needs to set up shop and to reside in your body successfully. So what the magnets do, is that they help us to improve blood flow. We can see magnetized uh, blood versus unmagnetized. It improves flow. So the same thing's gonna be happening with your pipes with water if you were to put the magnets on your water as well. Any deposits will be pushed through. Here we're looking at a before and after from my mentor, Dr. Garcia. Here we had an individual who was uh, I don't say the word treat when I'm talking about myself, but he's a medical doctor, so he can treat his patient and he can cure them. I'm a PhD, so I won't use those words with you regarding my work. After just having a three, three weeks, one session, that's the difference in his, in his hands appearance. Here we have, if we look under a scope and you were looking at blood, people that have a diseased state typically are gonna have this Rouleau formation. They're gonna have aggregates of their blood. If you magnetize that blood, you'll see that it looks like on the right side, it's grounded. The Rouleau formation, a little bit more in depth here. This is the erythrocyte aggregation. Again, this is gonna be very common for individuals that are in a diseased state on the macro scale that someone might observe. Almost done. <coughs> Excuse me. Here is Dr. Garcia. These are just some of his before and after pictures because we are scientists here, right? So we need to see that reproducible evidence, correct? Here we have that publish or perish. We must be able to reproduce what we're observing. A lot of folks might have some of these red rashes on their chest. Well, energetically, what that oftentimes appears as is English measles. So we do the pairs for English measles and that rash slowly starts to go away. The principles of the theory were based on Dr. Bromingmeyer from NASA. Viruses, fungi, they prefer a high, uh, excuse me, an acidic pH, whereas bacteria and parasites, they're gonna prefer a more basic or alkaline. The magnets will target those sites in the body when they're placed and bring that pH back into 7.0 to 7.3. These are do documented different uh, cases or conditions that have been um, had relief from biomagnetism. This is data coming out of Latin America. It's been recently translated into English. My biomagnetism and malaria. My mentor, Dr. Garcia, did this study last year with Dr. Frank, the president of the American Medical Society of Acupuncture. They treated all of these kids just with one session of 10 pair placements. So it's a total of 20 magnets placed on the body. All of these kids uh, tested negative for, with presence or absence of tachyzoites and blood smears for the uh, tachyzoites of malaria. Only two kids required two sessions. Here's a gal I'm working on right now. She has a arachnoid cyst, so they thought, but it's actually a toxoplasma cyst in the brain touching the ninth, the 10th, and 11th cranial nerves. She's going to need a few more sessions, but she was able to go camping last week, which is an amazing, because she was in bed seven hours a day. This is my daughter. She broke her radius and her ulna on May 1st. We were putting the magnet on her cast every night and she got to have her cast taken off three and a half weeks early. Her arm looked like the shape of an S when we went for that x-ray. She was a, a really brave girl. Here's one of my clients that came from Kalispell, Montana. She had 68, she had a cast put on, it was too tight. And this is the first, after the first session, I should have taken it before, but I, she was in pain. So I don't care about a picture. I wanna get you on the table. I wanna help you. I wanna help you help yourself. So the cast was put on too tight after she broke her wrist. And then that was the first session. And after the second session, her vascularity was back. Here's my dog, Elvis. He's got a little bit of anxiety. So I put the pairs on him as well. Dr. Garcia says if he had a dollar for every person who asked for player placements for their pet. Uh, so if anyone's a vet and wants to learn this technique, please come and do so, about 10% of medical, whether a vet, dentistry, they're starting to t learn this technique to help complement themselves. This is a 15-year-old HPV vaccine injured uh, uh, kiddo that I've given two sessions to. She suffered from uh, postural tachycardia syndrome post-vaccination, where she walking down the hall and you walk into the wall and she couldn't go to school. Um, now after two sessions, she was able to go and start to do open mics again um, down in Moscow, Idaho. So that's playing guitar, so that's pretty impressive.
So thank you so much. If you have any more questions, please come and see me at the booth. I'm selling biomagnets, and it's, I'm not that good of a vendor because retail isn't really my thing, but I want to sell them to you so you have the opportunity to use them. My forte is really working with people and helping you to find the tools that you need to be successful. Thank you. Thank you.